I'm Guy McPherson of Nature Bats Last. You can find Nature Bats Last at GuyMcPherson.com. Today's video, which is described in the blog post from yesterday, is called How Nature Nurtures. Yesterday's description includes a few papers, links to a few papers, including a couple of peer-reviewed articles. I'm dressed a little unusual today, quite casual. Got my mask here in my pocket. What's going on? Well, I'm in an unusual place. The take-home message from these papers, consistent with the work I've been following for a long time, is that time spent with nature and time spent with friends and family are good for your mental health. And so here I am in the Los Angeles, California metropolitan area in the United States. I got my mask here in my pocket because there's crazy people out there. Took a plane to get here. And so here we are in lovely Burbank, California, in the Los Angeles metropolitan area. The take-home message from the papers I'm going to present briefly, because you can read them at GuyMcPherson.com, the take-home message is clear. Spending time in nature and spending time with family and friends is a good idea. It's good for your mental health. It's good for your physical health. In the spirit of spending time with friends, and in this case family, I'm here in the Los Angeles metropolitan area with partner Pauline, seeing her son, who she hasn't seen for three years, and also catching her daughter's band in concert right here in Los Angeles. With a little luck, we're headed to the ocean sometime between when this video is shot, about 40 hours before it airs, and we'll spend some time at the beach checking out the ocean, enjoying ourselves in the natural world, consistent with my message. Okay, I'm only going to very briefly go through these papers because, again, you can read them yourself at GuyMcPherson.com. We start with a paper from The Guardian on September 2nd, 2022, with a, with a paper that starts with, I'm glowing, and it describes an individual who feels as if they're glowing after they've been in the forest. Now, important in this research presented from the Guardian paper and also the two peer-reviewed papers that follow at the blog post is the notion that the shape or composition of the forest matters as well as just being in the woods. And there's a reason for that. Relatively scattered trees are described as a savanna. And the savanna is where we evolved by natural selection. And sure enough, abundant research at this point demonstrates that humans are most comfortable and experience least stress in those savanna environments. So scattered woody plants are better for our health than really dense forests. I'm a huge fan of really dense forests. The papers I refer to presented in paper in peer-reviewed journals such as Molecular Psychiatry indicate that after only a one-hour walk in nature, our mental health improves and that improvement in health persists even if we go straight from the woods, the savanna, the beach, the desert, even if we go straight from there to an urban area, the positive message persists, the positive feelings persist for at least an hour spent in the urban jungle. So there's a lot going on and mostly I'll leave it to yourself because we're here to spend time with family and friends. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Click the bell when you subscribe so you'll receive notification of future videos. Become a member of this channel for additional perks at as little as 99 cents a month. Mostly though, thanks for watching. Breathing. Feel the wind in your hair, it carries 
life upon the air so that it can start again in the season. And even in the burning, when the earth is steady, when the seas are overtaking, when the ground is shaking, even in a storm that wipes a thousand years, there's still a million more waiting to appear. And even when the sky is poisoned, even when the land is bare, there is still a seed of hope buried somewhere in the dreaming. Even in the burning, when the earth is dirty, when the seas are overtaking, when the ground is shaking, even in a storm that wipes a thousand tears, there's still a million more waiting to appear in the dream.